today we're just gonna go step by step on how to get this game going as far as if you just got a copy of gta 5 on steam i'm gonna show you step by step how to get it going because um i see um a bunch of you guys have been asking me to do like a tutorial of how to get this going but anyway let's go to steam and i just download this is a fresh copy of the game now it depends on when you install the game which location or oh, when you install steam which location that you store your game but me i have like a different hard drive where i start uh, where i actually put most of the games so let's start with let me see this is i put i like i have like this hard drive i just call it gaming videos or whatever now most likely yours is going to be located inside um c drive program 86 i mean program file 86 and you will find this for the call steam what you gotta do is double click on it um steam apps comment and just find your gta folder so in case i'm tell i'm when i say like go to your gta directory that's what i meant by going inside this folder which have all these files if you just install the game it should look exactly like that right now all right so we are going to get started i just finished everything i just um you know i don't have to put the cereal or none of those stuff if you just bought the game it's probably fresh and you have to you know add all those stuff then let's go let's play first i like to just check the game first before i actually um let me see come on please work <laughs> this is actually a fresh copy so i have no idea if it's gonna work or not okay there you go so it is working um yeah so i just installed the game i wanted to show you guys step by step because you know some of you guys might know all these things already and some might not so most likely i will cut this video into pieces and yeah at least you guys would at least figure out how everything works so right now we just turn up the game and i'm you know what i'm gonna start with script hook scripthook.net then we're gonna install i mean open iv also so we're gonna install oh yeah each mods one by one so right now this is this this is gonna look like this is the first time we start up the game so that i mean this is just one thing i like to do and if you guys wonder what my settings are set as as for graphic i have it set like this if you want to you know do the same thing i have msaa off now i used to have everything on max i kind of lower it because of um rage hook so this is the best very high not ultimate or whatever i have refraction msaa off water yeah everything on very high and yeah this is my settings for that and next advanced setting this is what I have it set as. And I don't think there's nothing else. All right. Anyway, let's start up the game. Let's see if it's working because this is supposed to be a fresh copy of the game. So I might still use my old save so we don't have to complete the, the mission. Let me lower this volume on my headphone. Yeah. So it might still have like my old save, which most of you guys that's just starting the game right now might have to, you know, you have to do the first mission first. That's the only thing that I did since I knew I was going to be using mods and all that stuff. I didn't want to like, you know, complete the game and then something happened. So anyway, all right. So this is our fresh copy right now. There's no, there's no mods. There's nothing installed yet. How you doing? As you can see, this thing looks hey. And as you can see, this is usually my charger, but it's not there. There's nothing in it. <laughs> this sucks. I can't play this game without no mods, man. This, I can't do it, man. Anyway, let's just drive around. I just want to show you guys there's no mod installed right now. So this might be like the first. Oh, come on. This might be just the first part of the video. Um, it, it does. I mean, what I'm trying to show you guys is to get the game working before you start installing mods 
So as you can see, the game is working fine and everything is, yeah, everything looks good. All right, so let's close the game. All right, I'm just gonna put the controller down because we gotta have to get to work now. Anyway, remember I'm gonna, you know what? I will cut this video into pieces or whatever. So let me just make sure. Yep, for some reason, this always do that. But I know it's recording, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. So whenever you exit um, GTA, game capture for some reason, usually act up. So right now it's because I was in, um, going in, on and off from GTA. All right, so you're just gonna go online. First thing we are going for, I did set thing up. Okay, open IV. So you're gonna download open IV. I already downloaded, I already have everything installed, but you know what, let me just go through the steps so you guys can see it. All right, accept the term. So it depends on how you wanna install this. It's all on you. All right, so create that sub. Wanna open IV after installation, yes. Oh, if you wanna download for a different computer. So let's just click continue. Yes, let it just do its thing and excuse me. All right, it's installing it. I have it already, damn. I hope this thing don't mess up my. Anyway, I don't have my original copy installed, so. All right, you see all that and close it. All right. Now, since this is a fresh copy, it's asking you right now to locate, to, to show where your GTA 5 is installed. Now remember you have your location. Me, I'm, I made a shortcut of my um, location for GTA. Now, if you don't know the location for your GTA, you can always go on Steam, right click on GTA 5 properties and local files and browse to local files. See, it will just open um, wherever your GTA is installed at. All right, so now since we have the location, let's just copy it. Let's close that that and we could just put it right over here ah oh, come on so you might have to do con nope that's not working either all right so you actually have to look for it so we could just put the location over here all right that's the folder we're gonna select this folder you see it will detect what version you're using this and that and then you click continue don't forget to back up your original files before editing remember that don't forget to if you don't have the space, okay, you're taking a risk, but don't forget to back up your game. I have so many backup of each copies of the game, so I always have a backup, so I, so I won't have to worry about anything. <laughs> so as you can see, GTA, I recently back it up, City, Fresh Minds, and I even have more backups on other hard drives. All right, so just remember to back up your game, make a copy of the game, but you need at least 60 gig. So <laughs> that's gonna be taken up like, as you can see my C drive, uh, it's 1K. I had to get that because I was running out of space like every, every month, so now nah, I had to do that. Okay, so you click on continue. I kind of feel like this tutorial was gonna be long because I'm gonna give you guys a lot of detail, um, step-by-step -step on how to do things, so. And then you click continue again. Now it's searching for encryption key. Since this is a fresh copy, you know, that's why it might take so long. All right, I usually just space this out a little bit. Now my settings for OpenIV, let's go to settings. Um, I usually change that to edit mode. Whenever it open up OpenIV, I don't have to click on edit mode to edit files. And that's my settings and what's the, all right, that's it for that. And then you go to ASI manager. Now it realized that the ASI loader is not in the game or open IV ASI is not in the game. So I'm just going to show you when they appear after it's um, installed in your GTA directory. 
So what you have to do is install that. See, it just add it and install the. OK, so it just install both of them. All right. Oh, my God, my headphone. <laughs> Don't mind that. I'm using the 850, so I usually cut off once it's not hearing anything. All right. So once you're done with that, now you're able to browse to all the cars and depends on what cars like this is going to be like one of the main folder you have to remember because that's where all the cars is. So, you know, when you want to browse to. We're going to change that to the <laughs> Bugatti. We're going to change the cop cars. We're going to change everything step by step. But OK, so we're done with that. Um, should we just start with how to install cars? Why not? Right. So let's start with um, how to install a car or a cop car or whatever, because some of you guys don't know how to do that. So let's pick. Um, you know what? Let's go to LDFO.com. I have a bunch of other folders and in, install, but we're just going to pick a car. And so I'll probably just make all these videos 10 minutes each or whatever.